took the bumpy road out to the airstrip. The airstrip is an exclamation mark of asphalt, the only paved thing for miles, surrounded by an endless plain of lava red sand. I've been reporting at this camp over the last few years, and I've come to think of this strip as the capital of the camp, the departure point for its luckiest and unluckiest residents. I got used to meeting families clutching their winter coats in the 100 degree heat with paperwork that named their future homes in places like Seattle and Minneapolis. Now, with refugee resettlement stalled under President Trump, those flights have pretty much stopped. Instead, the planes are headed for Somalia. When Hadija and her family arrived at the airfield, she and other refugees dragged all their belongings off the bus. Suitcases along with mattresses, Qurans, pots and pans, a few minutes later, a UN official sitting under a window. <laughs> Somebody 